Okay, y'all, so we are ready to show you how to get these bubbles out of these trays. So, this is an example I'm using. So, you see this bubble here? I hope you guys can see it. Let me try to turn it sideways. So, here's the bubble. Where is it? Right here. These pesky bubbles come when you, pla when you place a big image on a tray. So, we are going to show you how to get this bubble out without removing the entire tray all you're going to need is your scraper i like the scrapers with the fabric on it to keep from scraping the image and you're going to also need an exacto knife so first thing you're going to do you're going to take your tray up to some light so you can actually see where there's big bubbles so here we have a huge bubble what you're going to do is you're going to take your exacto knife you're going to slit a very small hole and you don't want to just slit it anywhere. You want to slit it alongside or something. So right here against this W, I'm going to slit like that. I'm going to take my scraper and I'm going to scrape out that bubble. You're going to use the scraper to scrape, scrape, scrape that bubble down. So, once you scrape the bubble down, it's going to be like this, nice and flat. So the bubble is gone. You will still see a little bit of an indention around the area where you remove the bubble. But once you put your top layer of epoxy on it, you will no longer be able to see any imperfections in this image because the epoxy kind of covers up whatever imperfections are on the tray. So don't feel discouraged if you have your tray with a little indention i hope you guys can see this well i'm trying my best to show you guys um the way it looks but this is how it looks once the bubble is gone it is the super easiest way to remove a bubble without removing the entire image you take your exacto knife you slit a, a small hole and you scrape out that bubble thank you guys